Hello you gorgeous creators. Today we are going to work on a little something something that's fluid, lava lampy, kind of liquidy. Um, actually you could probably do it with any element you really wanted to. So the first thing we're going to need is some text. So I'm going to go in my text box for this. I want to use something big and thick. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to take out and put none here. And then I'm going to change this color to white. And then I'm going to change the text. This one I used to do two. So we're going to change the text. Let's put my name. If you don't know, my name is Michelle. And some people know me off of the Canva design group. Um, so if you've seen me in there, say hi. And leave a comment below if you came over from that group or you belong to that group. So I can keep everybody in track and send you some love. So the first thing we want to do is get our text ready. And then once we do, we want to download that. Well, I have the free version, so we're going to do this. And if you don't need to do this because you have the pro version, then you can skip over this part. But I'm going to download this in here. And then I'm going to come over to remove the background. But I'm not technically removing the background. I guess you can call it a reverse move. All right, let me get this little spinny thing to stop spinning for me here. All right, now it is. So we're going to go over here. I will use this because I'm free. So I do not want it to look like that. So I'm going to go over here to edit, erase and restore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore all the black. Magic, 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 magic. All right, we got a little bit, a little bit more. So let's go here. Let's make it bigger. Boop, boop, boop. And then we want to restore. Let's put the brush down a little bit. This is usually pretty good at this, but sometimes it's not. So let's go in here, see if we can get it better. Oh yeah, look at that. That is pretty. Get in here, get this. And this okay and now we want to erase the white part so let's let's get that back down and then we'll go and go here 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 so it knows what what i'm looking for it's looking for these letters and it doesn't have to be pretty with this it's very intuitive so that's helpful for me because I don't know how people who do it like fine tuning when they're doing background removal. I have a hard time, especially around the line. So we're going to download that. I call it a reverse background. I don't know what y'all call it. If you can leave that in the comments and let me learn a little something, I appreciate that much, much, much. So we're going to go back over here. Let's delete this. This little thing here. Come on, give me my little delete thing. There we go. Delete. And then what I want to do is put a PNG back up here. So if you notice when I go and I put this back in here, what you can see is you can see some lineage in here, but we want to keep that for the moment because we kind of want to see where this is. So now what I used to make this wavy, so I just go in here and I put wave into my elements and then I found something that was kind of wavy and then I changed the colors. So whatever colors you want to use. I edit the image. So with these, I can't go in here. I use the old one. The new the new edit does not have the, sh the shadows. I want the shadows. So I went back in the old. So to get my shadows, if you know some of the elements, you can't have shadows until you change it. So I just go into dual tone and then I pick out a color that I might want to use. That looks kind of, we'll do the sea blue. We'll apply it. Sometimes you got to do it twice for it to stick. And then if you see your shadows pop up. So now with that color, I can go ahead and do my shadows. Or for easier, well, I do a drop shadow. And then what I do is I want it at the top. And then I'm going to apply that. Now, because it's on a black background, you can't really see it. But once you start layering, you should be able to see it. 
So then we want to go back over and back into my elements and we'll use another wave. Let's do a couple of these. And uh, let's go into dual tone, pick out another color. If your color is kind of weird and you want to kind of just, you can go into the, let's do a blush, apply, shadows, drop here, go up here, go to top, apply, and then let's change this one and a dual tone to, let's say, let's do um, something brighter. A green. Apply. Uh, before we do our shadows, let's brighten it up a little bit. Let's give it a little more brightness. All right. And then we'll put a drop in there. And then we'll put it on the top. Apply. So now what we want to do is make them big. Put this one at the top. Make them big. So you can do this with any kind of element too. So say you wanted like stars or something that are flowing behind behind there. You can do it with anything if you really wanted to. You could get any kind of element and just kind of feather it back there. But this is just how I kind of did waves to kind of make it look sort of kind of like a lava lamp. So I'm going to go in my position because I want the blue one. Let's go over here to my layers. Let's pick out the blue one so I can make it bigger. So now what I want to do with these is I just want to move them around. So now I want to go into animate and then I want to create an animation. And so you just want to kind of move it around and move it around, move it around. And then I'll put it, I do it smooth because I'm not smooth. And then we're going to do that for all three of them. So we can do the green, we can go animate, go over here, wiggle it around your text, smooth it out. Uh, we'll go into position so we can get to blue, do the same thing, animate, animate, wiggle it around, wiggle it around. All right. So now I want to do, I want to go in my position and I want to get my shell. I want to go here and I want to layer. I want to bring that to front. Then I can make this bigger. If I want to, and then what I want to do is I want to play it and see how it is. And then what you want to do is you want to manipulate your colors around to where you want it to make, to where it looks the way you want it to. And if you see here, if you see that edge, I'm going to show you right now how to get that off. So if that edge is too sharp for you, let's go into this one. You edit the image, go to your adjustments, cut the brightness all the way down. It'll take that edge off. So now it blends completely into the background. And, and the other thing I did to kind of give it a little, uh, let's see, where's that little thing? This splash thing. I used the water splash. So I did that and I edited the image. I went in here and what I did was I took the brightness all the way down, the contrast all the way up and the saturation all the way down. I think I actually, hold on, let me see. I got it all the way black. So let's see. I think I might have put it in du duo tone first and then made it, I would say I would have done it mono. I can't remember. Sorry. And then go in here and brightness, contrast, saturation. All right. So that made that black. So like I could put these little pieces over here to look like splashes. And then I could duplicate that and then bring it over here and flip it around to make it look like splashes. So the other thing you can sit there and you can go back into your position and say, well, I want, I want to move that a little bit over this away so I can get more of this, this away. 
So you can manipulate it all any way you want to to make it kind of look. And then you can get your, your flow going. I'm sitting here with, using my fingers in front of the computer screen like you can see what I'm doing with this. But that's the basic technique of how to do that. You can just play around with different things. You could use, I would think, something cool is if you could get like raindrops or something like that and put it behind there and do that. You could use all kinds of different things. It's up to you. So that's my quick little tutorial on how to kind of make some motion of the ocean kind of stuff. And I'm glad you stopped by. And I hope you learned a little something something. And I appreciate it. Hit that like button. See you next time.